So let me start by you know um, asking the question: You are a Catholic priest, and how did you come to take interest in Hinduism and Hindu tradition? So give us a little context, and we will start from there. Uh, I would like to begin personally by thanking you, Professor Jaren and Professor Anupama, for this invitation to be here on this uh, conversation today. It's a very um, encouraging endeavor, very important issues, and I'm honored to be part of it. I would much rather be there in Bangalore to do it live face to face, but this is a good substitute in the conditions in which we live. So to give you a little bit of the bio, and I'll do it briefly, and then you can follow up with questions if you want. I am from New York City in America, uh, grew up in a staunch Catholic background, entered the seminary and became a Jesuit in uh, 1968. And then in 1973, I went for some teaching experience to Kathmandu. And I went there um, instead of somewhere in America because I was vaguely interested in a wider experience and also in an experience of Asia. And I think I had some basic attraction to India and South Asia in some fundamental way. I didn't know very much, but I was fascinated by the example of Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, I knew a lot, of course, as a Catholic about Mother Teresa. And I knew of India's long tradition learning, even though I didn't know much about it. So for me, as a young person, going to Kathmandu and teaching at St. Xavier's School for several years. It was a great eye-opening experience uh, to be in Kathmandu, which was so beautiful in those days, so um, pristine and simple, uh, to learn the Buddhist culture, Hindu culture of the Himalayas, and to travel to um, Bihar, Calcutta, and other parts of North India in those days. And I think for me, it was an opening experience, having no background and no experience, to be spending my time at St. Xavier's teaching students, boys at St. Xavier's who were Hindu and Buddhist. And I think one of the saving graces of my experience was that early on, I realized that I could not teach these boys unless I learned from them. And so I came as an American, a Westerner, to a missionary school, uh, which had been set up at the invitation of the King of Nepal, King uh, Tribhuvan. But I felt that I was there as a learner also. And so through going around the city with the boys, celebrating festivals, going to Pashupatinath, going to Shivaratri festivals, going to the stupas, and then reading with the students texts like Bhagavad Gita, stories of the Buddha, it began to open up for me a world of experience. And I think basic, and I'll just say this, and then you can follow up if you want, a basic element of this for me was that I was very clear in my identity I'm here, I'm a Christian, I'm an American Christian, I'm going to be a Catholic priest. I was ordained a priest only in 1978. But that somehow this is an exceedingly good experience for me to be living in this culture which has such traditions of Hinduism and Buddhism. And I think for me, that sort of set up the, 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 the model, the paradigm, that being myself, gaining self-knowledge in this Hindu-Buddhist context, I was also entering into this reciprocal relationship where I was bringing myself to South Asia, to Nepal and India, but also I was learning so much in the process. And that this set up the process for me, which is you kindly in your introduction, led me after ordination to do PhD studies in Sanskrit and Tamil and so on, and also then to do this field of comparative learning back and forth between the religious traditions. But it all started very simply by teaching in the school in Kathmandu.